Hi everyone, it's Maggie and I'm back with one more small Zibit haul. Um, Irene, who is Lucia Caso on YouTube. She has a Zibit shop called Crafty Finds and um, I made a small purchase and I'll put the links to her channel and her Zibit store in the description box. She's having a sale right now. Um, going on so um, please go over and check her out okay so I ordered this beautiful um, lace and sorry for the crinkling she sent me an extra half yard so thank you Irene and I thought this would be perfect for um, when I make handmade flowers um, sometimes the bottom layer I like to use a ruffled lace and I thought this would be perfect so and you can use it for lots of other things but that was what I had in mind when I saw this and um, I think it was either I think it was two yards but I'm not positive two or three yards maybe And then the other two laces that I got for and trims. I loved this. This is I think this is two yards, but look at this. Let me make sure here. It's got lavender and pink and peach. I don't know if that's gonna show up, but this little flowery, and this would be great for fl some flowers too. But I was thinking of an altered box when I saw this one. And I love it. It is beautiful. And I'm glad I got some extra in case I want to share. And then this is a rough, um, it's a ruffled stretch lace. I love the color of it. It's a really light mauve color. It feels almost like a jersey material. And it's um, ruffled down the middle, you know, it's uh, like sewn down the middle and that's what gives it a ruffle on both sides. And actually I was thinking of flowers when I saw this one too. <laughs> Maybe like a, um, try to do some type of a rolled rose with it. But, oh, it's so soft. I love this. This is beautiful. And this would look beautiful on boxes and wall hangings. So I'll use it for different things. And I think there's a couple of yards of that also that I got. And then she, she finds some very unique doilies. And this came with either it came with two or I purchased two I can't remember and I don't have the invoice in front of me but I love these with the fabric in the middle whether they're for doily books or a doily wall hanging the middle is a perfect spot to put a image so I got those and then this one I don't usually buy colored ones but it's just on the edge. It's a peachy pink. Um, and it's like a petally. But when I saw it, I thought, it's just so pretty. And whether I use it on a project or I put it under a lamp in my bedroom, um, either way, and it's hard to tell which side is which, um, it's just beautiful. And I love the layers of these to me they remind me of leaves but isn't let me put that out of the way isn't that really pretty so I got that and I'm not sure I, Irene you'll have to let me know if you crochet and you maybe made this or if you just you know if you found it and put it in your shop because you can definitely tell it's handmade. I just don't know if um, Irene made it or not. And then, this is a thank you. 
Excuse me. So you can make a small fabric mini. Oh, thank you, Irene. That was so thoughtful. Look at Oh, these are perfect for a mini. And there's four, so that's perfect too. So that makes that makes the perfect mini. Look at that. These are beautiful. I don't think I've seen this pattern before. Look at how pretty. And you know, it's time I make another doily mini too. Now that um, the holidays are over and I have more time, especially when the grandkids are in school, I will definitely do that. Thank you so much, Irene. Everything is beautiful. Um, please go check her shop out and her channel. Her prices are more than reasonable, and her sale prices are crazy. So do check her out. And thanks for watching, everyone. I'll see you again soon. Bye for now.